with new developments in Providence's financial crisis. We've learned dozens of Providence police officers could be handed pink slips within the next few months. It comes just weeks after Providence Mayor Tavera said the city needed to cut millions from the police department's budget. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau is live in the capital city with more on what he's learned. Both the police and fire departments are expected to cut $6 million from their respective budgets to help the city get back in the black. The president of the Providence Fraternal Order of Police tells us he was told up to 80 officer layoffs are possible. Public Safety Commissioner Perry is offering no details. Everything is on the table. Are layoffs probable? Layoffs and everything else is on the table. Firefighters are feeling it too. Asked by Mayor Tavares to take a 1% pay cut now and give back an upcoming 3% raise. Are frankly things that we gave up in the last collective bargaining agreement. Um, so our argument is that we've already done that. In fact, we kind of set the table uh, for the city to begin discussions with the other unions. Has anyone seen the gravity of what's going on here? The Finance Committee combed through dozens of line items asking for clarification from police and fire department brass. It is a difficult balance between money and public safety. We'll do it in ways that keep the city safe. It's always difficult when you have to reduce benefits and salary and personnel. But if layoffs are leveled at the firefighters union? I don't see how we can. I think that uh, the, the contract is in full force and effect and it doesn't provide for layoffs so I think it would just lead to costly litigation. Which Mayor Tavares has scheduled a news conference for tomorrow to discuss the budget balancing progress. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Butel, Eyewitness News.